Hi, this is Angela from North Carolina. We lost little Richard this morning. Richard Wayne Penniman. Little Richard was one of my favorites. He was a Southern guy, born in Macon, Georgia, and it was 87. He was born to a sharecropper with 11 children. And if you've never heard of a sharecropper before, it's something in very poor culture where the family doesn't own the house that they live in. His father worked for free and worked the fields, and they would have lived in a house, he said, with no plumbing, no heat, no insulation. Their food, they had to grow. They never got money. So none of the 11 children ever had clothes. And he started loving music real young, of course, and singing in his church like so many young children do. And immediately his father saw it as something wrong with him, that he thought his son was gay. So at a very young age, little Richard moved out and moved into a family, a white family, which in the Georgia in the 40s, that was huge. I mean, I can't even tell you how big that was. What a wonderful family to recognize his talent and love that little guy. So he went on in, started singing, doing the circuit, singing at the jive juke joints. And right behind him is the upcoming little James Brown. And little Richard got his success first. James Brown was from Augusta, Georgia. So they, of course, ran into each other. And little Richard had Tutti Fruity, Long Tall Sally, you know, was in all the R&B uh, dance clubs and on uh, Dick Clark. So when he was really booked up and busy and double booked, he would pay James Brown to impersonate him, which I think that is so funny. And James Brown could do a really mean little Richard. I saw little Richard in 1969 with some girlfriends at the park terrace, excuse me, the park center in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he was really awesome. But if you look at Elton John or Jimi Hendrix or Mick Jagger, Billy Preston, Prince, they all wore the mink coats, the necklaces, the low-cut shirts, the tight slinky pants, and they all copied Little Richard. They all admitted it. Prince said 100% that he copied Little Richard's look. Elton combined Little Richard and James Brown, but he said 100%. He stole Little Richard's way of pounding the piano. And, oh, he played at Bill Clinton's inauguration and officiated at Bruce Willis and Demi Moore's wedding in 1987. He was quite the character. He used to throw his clothes off into the stands and the crowd. He was something else. And the Beatles had a huge hit with his long, tall Sally. But Little Richard, we sure did enjoy you. You were quite the funny guy, I'll tell you what. You were never controversial. You never heard about him making a fool of himself. I just thought he was really something else. He had one son, so I hope he's up there with James Brown, and they're jamming together. And Greg Allman might stop by. He was from Macon, Georgia, so they were good friends since that's, they were both born in the same town. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.